this video, we're finally installing a camera system in our RV. This is gonna help visibility like no other. If you guys have ever driven anything that size, this camera system will pretty much work on anything. It's wireless. If you got a semi truck, you can throw it on your semi truck. If you just got a regular truck with a car trailer or any type of utility trailer, you can put it on that. Fifth wheel pretty much works on anything. I'm putting it on my class A motorhome. That's what we are doing. But if you guys are new to the channel, we've got our GT500, we've got our motorhome, we've got our classic hot rod over here. We kind of do a little bit of everything. It's an automotive vlogging channel, but I include my family in it. And we got little man cleaning up the 68. I think he's trying to claim that car. What do you think, bud? Is that going to be yours? We do everything on this channel, don't we, buddy? You getting it clean? Tell them what happens if the towel falls on the floor. You can't use it anymore. That's right. What's up, buddy? I'm super excited about it. We hooking you up, Alice. We're hooking her up. So we got two boxes. We're going to open them up. We're going to have a, I think it's a seven or eight inch monitor. I'll have to go through all, we'll go through all this stuff. So we've got a monitor. I think we're going to mount it over in here somewhere. I'm not sure. We're going to mount it somewhere. And then we've got three different cameras. So we're going to have a camera face in the back side somewhere we'll figure it out but let's open these boxes and see what's in them this brand that we are going with is called halo view we're gonna open this up and definitely show you i've already opened the box and kind of looked at it because i was super excited i could not wait and it's all wireless and there's like some sort of magnetic mount in here i haven't even really opened that yet it is wireless so you can put like an extender on it and i believe that's the wi-fi extender for, because this is all like wireless this is the rear camera i believe this is the mount for mounting the screen right there there's the screen which is pretty sweet it's like actually pretty thin too all right let's see what else is in here a bunch of wiring so you have the option to hook this up with your uh cigarette lighter port or you can or you can hard hardwire it in which that's what we're going to do we're going to hardwire it in just to make the install a lot cleaner i may use this just for setting it up until we figure out where we're going to put it basically get everything hooked up get all the cameras hooked up before we actually mount them on the outside of the rv maybe tape them up on the side of, kind of put them places where i think i might want them i don't want to mount the cameras realize okay that's a bad spot so i want to get everything all hooked up before we actually permanently mount the cameras so what, the way that this is going to work, see you've got your camera right there. If you have a side marker light or side marker, you can wire it in right there. And then that's how you get power for the camera. And you just kind of uh, jump off of the, the wiring that's already there and hook that up. This actually, the this camera right here is good for like, if you have a pull behind camper, if you have a trailer, if you're a truck driver, anything like any type of vehicle, you can put it on like even... My buddy Mike with the rat rod, he put a camera system similar to this on his rat rod. You can put these things on anything. If you wanted to, you can put them on your Prius too. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to rough all this in, kind of get a rough install on it. I've never installed one of these camera systems before, so this is going to be my first time installing one of these. We got to figure out where we're going to mount this screen. Everybody was uh, mentioning, oh, I should put a screen in there for the camera system, but that screen right there is going to be a little small for that. I'm thinking mount it like up there or maybe even hang it so right now i've got the rear view camera set up right there got that plugged in i've wired it all in to my dash but i've got this temporarily wired into the power wheels battery we making it work just testing what do you think buddy and the boys are watching turbo on the tv this thing's pretty cool because it's got the little reverse thing set up on there too so i think what i want i think i want to put it right here so i think it'll look good when i get it all set up i'll show you guys i don't really don't want to show you guys too much right now honestly i really don't know how it works i'm figuring it out i'm figuring it out scariest part drilling a hole into your motor home and i'm going in these lower panels because there's nothing back behind there and i can run the wire right up through here and then come right through i need to get power to her Woo! The camera system is fully installed. I'm gonna walk you guys around. Alice, we're gonna show you guys 
where we place the cameras and why we place them in those spots. So there's three cameras entirely. There's one rear camera and there's two okay. side cameras. So that's the first camera. I put it there. My main reason for putting it in that location rather than back further is because I want to see everything along the side of the RV because if I'm trying to change lanes, if a car is essentially in this area and my camera is pointing back that way, I basically want to get all of the RV. So I have it right here and then I can pretty much see everything from this point. I mean, I do have my window here, so that's why I put the camera over there. This spot, I have the camera mounted here so I can see on back. And then if I'm driving, I can look down and see if anybody is right here. That's why I went more towards the front rather than the rear. I want to actually see everything down the entire side of the RV. See with the rear camera, what I did was I mounted it just above the factory black and white camera because later on, once we get our enclosed car trailer, what we're gonna do is I wanna relocate that one to the back of the car trailer so I can see behind me. We'll take a walk on the roof of the RV and I can kind of show you guys how we ran the wiring because the wiring on this on these cameras is just, e it's so easy. It's just positive and negative. Basically your power and your ground, that's it. So up here on the roof, we've got the wires. What's cool is they came with all these little sticky zip tie connectors, which this is an extender for the antenna. So what I did, was I ran the antenna all the way down towards the front, zip tied them onto those wires, right here towards the front of the camper under the horn. That's where I put the antenna. That's where my driver's seat is and that's where the monitor is, is right below me. And I ran it all the way down. There is the camera. It's a little bit dirty because I did already take a road trip in this thing and kind of tested it out a little bit. I'm not gonna fall, buddy. I'm coming down. But what I would like to do is I'd like to get another one of these extensions just so I can just keep relocating the camera back to the, the RV and then put it on my car trailer and not have to take up all this wire. Because all that wire is right there is just the extender for the antenna. Let's take a walk inside and we'll check out the monitor. That one, yeah. that one, yeah. And I put this switch right in here so we can turn the system on anytime. As soon as you turn it on, you see that it's recording. If it not so as soon as you turn it on, it's recording. Pretty doggone simple. I mean, you pretty much hit the select button and you just go through the different screens. That's the rear camera. And this right here is like your menu. You kind of, yeah, that's kids. Hold on, hold on guys. This right. No, buddy. <laughs> And how come you say that it has a menu? All right. Well, you could do like your different like type of screen that you want through those. Oh, look, there's Logan going to the camera. And then you could set it up to where you've got your rear down there and then you've got your two sides. And then <laughs> look at him. There he's running to the back. Okay, let's see. There he went, ran around. There he goes. Now he's gonna run around to the back. <laughs> now he's gonna run around to the side. <laughs> oh gosh. I also put it right here because if I'm driving, I can easily hit the switch and then switch over to whichever camera I wanna go to. There, there goes Liam. <laughs> There he goes. There he is. It's actually a pretty sweet system now having it in here and after this weekend trip that I just did, I would not want to drive without it. I just wish I would have done this sooner. Just driving with this, especially lane changing and all that, oh my gosh, it makes a huge difference. Now, with that being said, a couple features that I would like to have, I just wish the screen was touch screen and on the rear camera it would be cool to be able to like have like a toggle adjustment to move it up and down if i'm trying to back up to my trailer i want to see my hitch so i might want to pivot down so i could see my hitch that's pretty much the only two things i could think of that could improve the system it's also nice because i put it right here because if i'm in the rv and i'm driving and i want to switch cameras i could just hit that button like if i want to go to whichever one right there's logan I put this power switch in here so right now, for example, the RV is completely off. I didn't want to have it wired to whenever the RV was on, the cameras had to be on. Because if I'm at a campground or if I'm in a park, because it also works as like a security system as well. Because if, you know, you're parked at a campground or you're parked at a Walmart or a truck stop and you have all your curtains closed or whatever, you can just hit that switch and you can have the cameras on at all times. So you can just look at that monitor and see around the entire camper, which kind of makes it super, super nice. And I hit the switch and it's off. Camera system is Halo View. If you guys are interested, 
definitely check them out, give them a shot. I definitely love it. My biggest regret is not doing it sooner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps some of you guys if you guys are looking for a camera system for any of your vehicles. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, help support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.